today I'm attempting to hang curtains in my living room. The curtains that I wanted were sold out at Ikea for a few weeks. So they finally came back in stock the other day. I went and picked up three packs of these. They're the Hannah Lil. I feel like when I looked online, there was three different lengths, but then I went in the store and I only saw 57 by 98, which is what I wanted. But originally I wanted to do floor to ceiling curtains, but I have a heat register at the bottom. It burns things. So I didn't want the curtains hanging over the heater. These ones are gonna hit like right above. Guess what happened yesterday? I took out one pack to just see the color and length. And then I put them in this like blanket basket that I have. Somehow this fell out of the blanket blanket basket went onto the heater and it got burned. If you can see, I'm trying to get rid of these stains, but I don't know if they're gonna come out. So I already burned a curtain and I haven't even put them up yet. I don't know if I'm gonna need all three packs. So this is gonna be potentially not up on the wall. Anyways, I got two of these tracks. I have three rod hooks. What are they even called? So one of these has to be in the middle and then the other two on the end. So I guess I need to be measuring the window. Why is this so confusing? Like it's simple, but it's like... 240 centimeters. So half is 120, right? So I need to put that in the middle. There's three different size screws in here. So I don't know which one. I don't think I need the biggest one. I feel like going with the middle size is the safe option, but like, the small one works too. I have no idea what I'm doing. <sighs> my anxiety right now for putting this hole in the wall. <laughs> oh my God, it's like, am I gonna put it in the right spot? How do people do this? The measurements is freaking me out. Do I just go for it? <sighs> no going back after this. <sighs> okay, I did it. I feel like it's gonna be the small one. Now I'm wondering if they even need anchors. Like, should I just do screws? I put up one of the rods so far. It's looking like things are going well. I think I'm actually gonna hang up one of the panels just to make sure the length is right. I am now attempting to pleat the curtains. I watched a whole bunch of tutorials on this. I feel like most people use four prong pleater hooks. I just have the rig dig ones from Ikea. It'll look like this. So I've weaved this through the very first section and then I'm gonna do seven slots over from whatever this is called. <laughs> and then it's gonna make this little fold. And for the next one, we're gonna do the same thing. So this first slot was three over, if that makes sense. We're gonna start, yeah, one, two, three, and then do seven slots over. Hopefully that makes sense. them you need these Vidga gliders. I believe you can actually get a set where the gliders come with the track, but I got separate ones. There's two different hooks in here. What ones do I want? I think I'm gonna use these ones. So I need 10. One, two, three, 10. I messed up one of the calculations. I'm trying to put up the other rod and it's too long. It's like hitting into the wall, which isn't the end of the world because you can cut them. So I just need to cut the other one to be a little bit shorter. So I think it's fine. I just think the rods aren't gonna be like equal on both sides. I'll give you guys an update on the curtains when they're done, probably tomorrow. But I'm also doing a little update in my bedroom. I just got in these sheets. I'm really excited about them. They're from Brooklinen and I am working with them on this video. But I've heard so many good things about the brand they also have over a hundred thousand five-star reviews on their website. I got the classic hardcore set I believe you save 25% by ordering the set together versus getting things separately And the set comes with a flat sheet a fitted sheet a duvet cover and four pillowcases I went with the color solid cream I was debating between white and cream, but I feel like cream is just a little bit softer It's still bright and neutral, but sometimes I feel like stark white is just a little bit too bright 
It is sleep week up until March 20th. You'll get 20% off. So if you like what you see, or if you need new bedding, if you're doing a little spring update like myself, definitely go check them out. I just put the pillowcases on, but I think I'm actually gonna throw everything through the wash first, just so that they can loosen up a little bit. Sun is going down and I feel like it's gonna be dark by the time I get this on. I'm gonna put these on the bed while I'll probably end up showing you tomorrow, which will be in like two seconds, so. Just woke up and I wanted to give you a look at the sheets and I can also give you a mini review now because I've slept in them, but they definitely feel like hotel sheets. That's the vibe I'm getting. What do you think of them, Tika? They come in a bunch of different colors if you're looking for a different color, so definitely check them out. I forgot to show you guys the finished product, but the curtains are up. I ended up using two packs of the curtains, not three. I put that one panel in the wash and it shrunk quite a bit, so I couldn't use it. But I don't think I'm ever gonna fully close them anyways, so two panels on each side is fine. But yeah, the pleating isn't as crisp as I thought it would be. I don't know, I still think it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see with like the window light. But I think it definitely adds some height. It makes the ceiling look a little bit taller because your eyes get brought up all the way to the ceiling. I am proud of myself that I did that all by myself. Wanted to give a mini hair update because I took my extensions out the other day. I like to do a video documentation every time I take them out to see if there's any difference, which unfortunately there is not. My hair has literally looked the exact same for like five to 10 years. I think I'm starting to realize that I just have very fine hair. I have a lot of hair, but the strands themselves are very thin and 60% of my hair only grows out this long. I'm currently on month three of taking these JS Health hair and energy pills. I really don't think these are doing anything for me though, so I'm gonna finish off this bottle and not repurchase. This is my second bottle that I'm going through. Obviously with stuff like this, you're gonna have to wait several months before you can tell if it's making a difference or not, but this is basically zinc and iodine. I have taken zinc and iodine separately in pills before as well. I've heard a lot of people say good things about this, but it's just gonna be very dependent on the person. And personally, I don't think it's working for me. I'm gonna keep continuing with my hair routine. I've been doing oiling treatments on my scalp and scalp massage, deep conditioning treatments. I use oil in my hair. This one is my favorite right now. It's the Playa. It smells so good and it's really lightweight. Every time I take my hair extensions out and I see my natural hair, I have like a mini breakdown because every time I feel like it's gonna be the time that I ditch the extensions. I'd heard so many good things about these. So I was like, maybe this time will be the time. And then my hair looked the exact same. So I got my nails taken off and I got my lip filler dissolved all in the same week. I still have some bruising. And I do need to get some more of the filler dissolved. I just felt like there was migration happening, but I want them all back. This natural life isn't doing me any benefits. I just got off a call with a company called Blue Beautifly. I repurchased a hair oil from them recently and I posted it on my Instagram because it's literally my favorite hair oil. They saw that and reached out, asked if I wanted to join their affiliate program. Of course I said yes. They're gonna set up a discount code for you guys. I'll put it on the screen or I'll have it down below because I'm gonna email them later today so we can get that all set up. It's the Organic Amalaki Scalp Oil Serum. It's so good. It has an amazing blend of different oils. It smells really good. You also get a really good amount. Like this is a pretty big bottle. The last one lasted me quite a while. The oil just like it applies to your scalp so well. Honestly, there's not a ton of products that I repurchase and Whenever I run out of something and I buy it again I know that I love it. So this is on my repurchase list I'm gonna be heading out soon because I have a bunch of appointments today. I'm gonna be getting laser I honestly don't know what treatment number this is. I've been doing laser for like a couple years now I say it's been life-changing, but it definitely doesn't get rid of your hair It just makes my hair way more fine and slow growing and for me, it's been amazing because my skin's really sensitive and I used to get ingrowns and scarring and all of that and I have not been getting that since doing laser so even though it's something that I need to keep up with and it's really expensive for me personally I feel like it's worth it and then after laser I have a facial at this really cute place so I'll take you along for that I have a little bit of time to kill in between the two appointments so I'm probably just gonna work at a cafe maybe go grocery shopping <music> I 
did a quick stop in at Whole Foods and I mainly got vegetables because I want to make a juice. I also got these maple waffles. I get a different brand of these like Stroop waffles and they're so good. These ones in particular, not a huge fan. I also got a water bottle because I haven't had water in a while. But yeah, laser's done. After that appointment, I went and I hung out at Beautiful for a while, did some emails, and I also got an email saying that I officially graduated my first year of my holistic nutrition program. I was a little bit nervous because we had to do a bunch of case studies and they were taking me forever. And then by the end of it, I was kind of being sloppy with them. I got 85%. So good enough mark to pass. I also just got graded on a research paper. I think I got 95 on that. So we're getting close to the finish line. I think I'm actually supposed to be done by next week. I believe it was March 16th or something two years ago and you have two years to finish. So I think I have like 10 days left to get everything done. And I'm actually really close. I just need to grind for a few days to get through it. But um, I think I have to write another research paper, another final exam, and just like a bunch of quizzes and stuff. But anyways, that's just a little update on that. I'm gonna head over to Formula Fig now to get my facial. I've never been to one of these clinics before, but they look stunning. So I'll give you a little look-see when we get there. so fun. I was looking out my window and it was a little bit sunny so we're gonna take advantage. I think I'm gonna go through the Starbucks drive-through. I haven't gotten Starbucks in a while. We're gonna grab a drink, go for a walk. I've been feeling super blah over the past few days and I definitely think I get hit with a little bit of seasonal depression, just like lack of sunshine. Tika, should you get a puppuccino? Oh thanks, can I get a puppuccino too? Yeah. There you go. You get Starbucks too. How old? She's gonna be eight next week. Eight? Yeah. She does not look eight. Oh my goodness. She's a permanent puppy. I'm sorry, hang on. So, no, you're good. Yummy. I got a cheese Danish, a London fog, and a pup cup. Just finished our walk. It's a cute little dog out there. Why are dogs so cute? Right, Teeks? So we did about an hour walk. I think it was like 55 minutes. Getting a little bit of sun is such a game changer. We haven't been getting a lot of it. So I'm really glad we took advantage. I find getting out in nature is very inspiring or motivating. I don't know why it is, but I'm gonna plan out a few meals and write up a grocery list and probably go straight to the grocery store because if I go home and sit on the couch, the motivation's gone. I really wanna start doing more salads because I'm trying to eat less carbs. I'm also really excited to be almost done my holistic nutrition school and I'm trying to figure out exactly what I wanna do with that. The main reason why I wanted to take this course or this certification, for one, it's just something that I'm really interested in and I wanted the information Information to help out myself. I don't know if this person is waiting for my spot. Okay, good, they were waiting for someone else's spot. But yeah, basically I just wanted to be able to speak from a more educated place, I guess. But I actually wanted to get a little bit of feedback. How can I be more helpful? I do wanna write a few eBooks. I've also been meaning to do a cookbook for the longest time. I, I was like working on it for like a year, but that is still something I wanna get out eventually. I don't know if I should start a separate Instagram or TikTok account. I feel like I should stick to my main one, but let me know what you think about that too. But anyways, I think I'm gonna end this video here and I will see you all soon.